Jeremy S. Cook here, and in this video I'll be going over how I set up the Comexpress Type 6 Starter Kit from AdLink. You can see me here unboxing the kit, which was packaged quite well. Once out of the package, I inserted the memory boards into the Comexpress module. I then prepared the thermal solution made up of a fan and heatsink, removing the thermal cap hat coverings. You could do this by hand, but tweezers are very helpful to get a good grip on everything. The thermal solution was then placed on the module and secured with two screws. Once secure, I placed a combined module and heatsink on the carrier board, but found that the connectors required quite a bit of force to seat. Not wanting to damage anything, I removed the thermal solution in order to apply direct pressure to the module circuit board. This did the trick nicely, and once the connector was seated, I secured the board and thermal solution with screws. Only one screw was used in the middle, as the carrier board blocks the other when installed this way. The fan was plugged into the appropriate socket on the carrier board, and the power supply was then connected as well. Video output is provided via the T6 DDI video adapter card. In my case, this needed to be set for HDMI output via jumpers. It can also be set to use DisplayPort as needed, and can accommodate up to three monitors. One accessory I hadn't yet installed is a debug card, which shows you diagnostic info about your system without a monitor. I took apart much of the system to do this, though it could likely be done with most of the parts intact. With everything reinstalled, I connected my monitor and powered up the system, which boots up to a shell in this case. Hopefully this video has given you an idea of what it takes to assemble a Comexpress Type 6 starter kit from Adelaide. Jeremy S. Cook for Embedded Computing Design, signing off.